Mirna has accessed the JNU Sabarmati Hostel Warden's report that details the events that took place on the 5th of January. It describes how a mob of miscreants armed with sticks and rods vandalized the hostel and attacked students. The warden also notes that they made the first few calls to the police helpline between 4 and 4.30 p.m. They called the PCR van at 5.30 p.m. A letter was also sent to the chief security officer asking for extra cover. The report notes that no help arrived until 6.45 p.m. So these are the details, viewers, that we have accessed from the Sabarmati Warden's report on the violence that took place in the JNU campus on the 5th of January. So the Warden of Sabarmati details, in fact, gives out this account where she says that she saw 40 to 50 people with masks at 4 p.m. The mob was looking for some particular students in their respective rooms. Emergency meeting of three wardens were held at 5.30 p.m. PCR call was made by the wardens. A letter was sent to the chief security officer. However, help only came by at 6.45 p.m. So a delay of over an hour, in fact, an hour and 15 minutes later, uh, that the help came by at 6.45 p.m. is when the police turned up. No extra security, however, showed up. A mob of uh, 150 people entered the hostel around 7 people, uh, around 7 p.m., beg your pardon, including the girls' wing. My colleague uh, Sanjana Chauhan joining me on the phone line. Sanjana, these are the details that we have accessed, but we would like to put things in perspective for our viewers in terms of how things panned out in Sabarmati Hostel. That was one of the hostels where major vandalism took place on the 5th of January. Sanjana. Afrida, because you know, even when the police actually held their press conference the first time, which they said was the first of many series, um, they did in fact address only the incidents that took place on the 3rd and 4th of January. They did not address what happened at the Sabarmati Hostel. Uh, unfortunately, Sabarmati Hostel seems to be, that incident seems to be the major flashpoint, which is the bone of, the con bone of contention, which is why yes. uh, the campus violence was actually handed over to the crime branch. Mm -hmm. So this report that now has been accessed by Times Network um, is making some rather grave claims. For one is that the mob was coming and looking out for particular students in their mm. respective rooms. So it goes yes. to show that this was perhaps a targeted attack. Mm. Then, mm. of course, the report goes on to talk about how there was an emergency meeting of the three wardens that was held at 5.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. And the first time that the wardens actually saw about 40 to 50 masked people was at 4 o'clock. So yes. this actually, in a way, corroborates Afrida with the students mm. who have been claiming that they actually made their first calls to the police officers at 3.45, but the police actually showed up only close to about 7 o'clock in the evening. Once again, yes. the report saying that the PCR call was made by the wardens, a letter was sent to the police for extra security, but however, nothing happened until 6.45 p.m., no extra mm. security or police turned up. Once again, they said that about, you know, at about 7 o'clock in the evening, another 150 people entered the Sabarmati hostel, including the girls' wing, where they attacked many residents. Rooms were also vandalized, as we also said, spoke about a visually impaired student. His room was also attacked. Um, so the, one, the warden this time now asking for an investigation as early as possible. Right. So it remains to be seen now, Afrida, whether we hear anything from the Delhi police with regards to where the probe is currently, and more importantly, to mm. contest any of these claims that are being made by the JNU students and these hostel wardens. Yes, because the fact of the matter is, uh, as per the warden's account, account, twice the miscreants came, once at 4 p.m. and then again at 7 p.m. After having alerted the police, the miscreants screens came in larger numbers. Now, all these things have come out for the first time. So we will have to wait and see uh, what kind of response is given to these claims or these accounts made by the hostel wardens in Sabarmati Hostel in JNU. Thanks, Sanjana.